Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we're going to be playing a beautiful smooth Irish jig called the Banks of Loch Gowna. so much is that it's in the key of B minor which is pretty unusual for Irish traditional tunes but it's not a difficult key because B minor is the relative minor of D major which of course we're all familiar with um, but as a minor key it's quite unusual it's in quite a bright feel because it's all on the upper two strings so I'll play through the tune slowly and I'll put straight away in some of the key ornaments so right at the start we've got um, one two three So, the very first note, the B, first finger, you're going to do a roll, which slowed right down, is 1-3-1, one, one, open 1. Uh, now, but it's not played evenly, so you get most of the notes out of the way before the roll even starts. And then it comes really as fast as your fingers will go. Here we've got what's called a double cut, so we're adding um, between here and there, we're flicking on third finger and first finger. Uh, a single note added would be a, uh, a normal cut or a single cut, uh, two notes makes it a double cut. And the roll incidentally is sometimes called a long roll, taking a crotchet and a half or uh, one and a half beats. With practice you should be able to get these ornaments really fast so that they are not kind of interrupting the, the sound at all. Um, the, the rhythm, it's certainly not uh, six equal um, quavers. So we're not trying to do anything like that. So it's really quite a long first note and then two really short notes. Um, and played really smoothly. So let's go through uh, with the backing. Just find a few more things we can say about this. There's quite a few places for little slides, upward slides. So uh, the long notes at the beginning of the bars is a good place for an upward slide combined with the roll. And there's another slide there. Uh, you could do a slide down there. could do a little syncopated push if you wanted. And 
Now here, you could put a roll there instead of... And again there, um, a roll instead of... And a few of the B notes uh, that are on the B minor chords, you can... Um, Play a parallel fifth with your first finger on both notes. That kind of thing. Uh, the great thing about having a variety of different ornaments at your fingertips is that you can play it slightly differently every time and make it interesting for yourself and interesting for whoever might be listening. So I hope you enjoyed the Banks of Lock Gowner. Um, if you send me an email and subscribe, then um, I can send you a copy of the dots in a PDF. And you'll find my email address at the bottom of the description. And uh, if you want uh, a backing track to this, then if you become a patron on Patreon, then that's one of the possible benefits that you can get. And I do hope I'll see some of you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.